Do you constantly find yourself slouching at your desk or getting a sore neck from looking down at your phone all the time? We live in a world full of activities that can lead to poor posture, so it's really no surprise that so many people are dealing with back pain. Jordan Wheeler is a personal trainer and owner of Jay Wheeler Fitness, and while most people head to the gym to focus on cardio and strength, he's here to explain why paying attention to your everyday posture is also important. He's gonna show us a few exercises that can help improve our posture. Welcome, Jordan. Thanks for having me on again. Yeah, thanks so much Always for joining us. Always a pleasure us. to be here. So let's get through, get started and go through these exercises. And sometimes this yeah. kind of feels like stretching where we don't really want to do it because they're little movements. But it's so important. So important. Like, so let's get started. And you're yep. going to go through about six, six exercises. Yep. yep. What is the first one? So we'll start off with scarecrows. Okay. So you want to feet hip width apart. We're going to hinge at the hips, keeping our back straight, like in a neutral. So you want it just straight, coming over. And then you're going to row your arms up so that they're parallel with the floor, kind of in that broken T shape. Then we're going to rotate them up, and then we're going to extend out so that your arms come by your ears. So here's the scarecrow part, right? Yep, right here. And then all the way back down. Again, relax them, pull them back. And now then, you could use weight with this if you want. You could. I always tell people, just start with body weight just to get that form down. This is how I started when I started rehabbing my shoulder. It's worked wonders. I can now do push-ups. I can even do a bench press. So with dumbbells, I don't do the straight bar. But yeah, it, it's one of those, like, this is one that's going to help correct that slouching. Something we all need, especially working from home. Probably don't have the right desk. ergonomic setup, so mm -hmm. it's very important. OK, what is the second exercise? So the second one, we're going to take it to the floor. These are swimmers. So when you're down here, you're thinking about pushing your pelvis into the floor. Kind of abs are tight pushing your abdominal wall against the floor, feet flat against the floor as well. So we're gonna start here with the arms above. We're gonna raise up just a little bit. We're gonna keep our shoulders back, bringing the arms all the way back, and then you're gonna try to pull your, your upper back back, and then we're gonna swim it forward. So this one takes a lot of concentration. Mm -hmm. And how I first started these, I actually just went like this, because my shoulder, and then would bring it back up. So start little if it is painful for you. Exactly, you gotta start within your limits and those limits will slowly increase because okay. your posture will get better. Okay, and how long should you be doing each of these moves for? Uh, typically, like I say eight to 12 reps. Okay. Like three sets, um, 10 reps is ideal. Okay. And I usually just run all the way through them and then start over, Okay. three rounds. All right, next. So up next, we've sure. got the external rotations. So again, you can start with body weight or you can use bands or dumbbells. So just palms facing up and we're just bringing them out to the side. You're thinking about like pinching a pencil between your shoulder blades. Okay. It's crazy how much if you, if you don't think about it, you aren't using those muscles. But if you actually mentally think about pinching oh, a pencil, yeah. I'm like, and oh, so there's like, a difference. And again, like with the band, you're just, pinching it back, but don't think about pulling the band apart. You think about squeezing your shoulder blades together to bring it out. Okay, and slow and controlled movements. Slow and controlled, yep. Okay. And that again, if like you don't workout. have bands, you can always use the dumbbells, just keeping your palms facing up. And just slowly go in and out. Yep. Okay, what do you got for us next? So then we have the seated uh, spine openers. Honestly, you can do this standing. Uh, seated is nice. I also do a different variation where I'm on my knees and I'll have my elbows on something and kind of okay. extend back. But hands coming behind and then you kind of want your elbows in a little bit closer and we're just reaching the elbows up, pulling your chest up towards the, the ceiling. So it's kind of like when you're doing that morning stretch when you're in mm -hmm. bed and you're just kind of this one here. Yeah, only you're keeping everything nice and tight and thinking about lifting your chest up towards the ceiling. The common error here is arching your back. So a lot of people oh. will do this one here, yep. thinking that they're doing that. You want to keep your core tight and just lift up with your chest. And how long should you hold this for? I would say like a couple seconds. You okay. don't want to just be going So it's more of like a movement, this. like you go, you hold it up. Yep, and you feel that down. stretch, embrace it, and then back down. Okay, no arching your back. Yeah. That's a tip I need to remember. All right. <laughs> so then farmer's walks. Um, Typically, like if you're doing these in a strength program, you're gonna grab like the heaviest set of weights that you're comfortable with. Um, but just starting out, grab something that 
gives you a little tension in your shoulders. You're just gonna let them relax and then thinking again, pulling your shoulder blades back and then you're just taking deliberate steps, keeping your core tight. So we're just gonna walk it forward. Oh, squeezing my core, that's always something I forget to do. I know, I know. And so what that helps is keeping your lower spine right. in place. So it's gonna keep that spine neutral and it's gonna force you to pull your shoulders back. Otherwise, you're back in that slouch position. Right. So I have like three pound dumbbells right here, yeah, you so have five. <laughs> Obviously but, we'd want a little more weight for, for this. Right. But again, just feeling that tension in your shoulders, squeeze them back, and, and just then walk. stepping forward. Yep. Kind of think about pulling your, your heart out of your chest as you're pinching your shoulder blades back. Okay. And last but not least, what's the last move you have for us? The last one here is the halo. So okay. we'll actually grab a, grab a dumbbell here, just holding it at chest height. You're thinking about relaxing your shoulders down and back. And then we're just gonna bring it around our head nice and slow, and it's just gonna open it up one side at a time. And again, your shoulders are gonna move a little bit, but always thinking about keeping them down and back and feeling that stretch along the outside there. And so you wanna no do- No arching for that one, No right? arching, okay. again, your core is always tight, protecting your spine, keeping it in that neutral position. Okay. So this one would be 10, eight to 12, circles each direction. Eight to 12. Yep, yep. And lightweight. Lightweight and just focusing on that form. So I've definitely done this with heavier weights before when I'm like strength training, mm -hmm. but I feel like that's probably when I'm getting a little bit of out of control. And that's the thing. You always want to stay in control. Like posture is so important, yeah. especially nowadays. Like we find ourselves in a more sedentary lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So it's sitting at the desk. Uh, for me, it's gaming, you know, every yeah. once in a while. But I'll find, uh, I'll find myself when I'm typing up plans and stuff, shoulders are coming forward, you know? So it's always sitting up out of your spine, shoulders are staying back, and Focusing. you're in that, that good posture. All right, well, thank you so much, Jordan, for coming in and teaching Thanks us again. these exercises so that we can all incorporate into our daily routine. Thank yeah. you.